Damn. Also filthy, that's fucking bizarre. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> The internet giving us some weird insight into this weird, weird shit. Oh my god, it's Vendrith. Oh my god, May, you're in the way. Is this bothering you? Yes, May, you're in the way of my, my video game. I set Silent Hill 4 to run as an administrator because I think it was having the save file issues kind of thing. And then OBS couldn't capture anymore, so I set OBS to run as administrator. And now it's working, and everything's fine and great. I should just fucking run every program as administrator forever. No, that's what I mean. Like, I think I have the, all that kind of shit off, but this is like, uh, I don't know, some kind of individual thing. Oh, wait, no. I, I inverted it again somehow. It's inverted with the mouse, too. Yeah, it's acting weird. Left, so right, left, right, left. These are normal, though. Isn't that weird? I think it only affects the first person segments. Just the camera controls just for left and right. some fucked up writing that we can't read. Henry doesn't know how to read, so it's not gonna happen. Be left, right, left, right, up, down. Dude, even the camera here is fine. Do not enter. Enters anyways. Kind of a criminal. Uh oh.
Pistol bullets that I've earned through combat. Thought there was a first aid item here, but there is not. Where's the door? I was just looking at it. Challengers. The engine's still running and the driver's seat is open. Uh, this is, I think, a Pontiac Firebird, and I think it's the same one that James has in Silent Hill 2. Engine is running, driver's seat door is open. With the brake pedal engaged, all sorts of things scattered on the seat. There's paper. It's been a while since I came here to Silent Hill. Maybe I'll meet the devil this time. But whenever I come to a cool place like Silent Hill, I always get real thirsty. Jasper Gein. I guess it's a Jasper's car. Yeah, James's dad found his car, sold it to this Jasper guy. I'm not sure what that nosy guy meant when he said, His home is the orphanage in the middle. The lake is northwest, so the opposite is southeast. Nosy guy said one other thing. If you bring the dug up key, you can't go back. Put it away somewhere before you return there. Fair thing, Jasper. Jasper Gein. They use Ed Gein as a puzzle solution for the radio show in Silent Hill 2. I think they were just like, you know what, we're, we use, we use, we reuse names, it'll be like a little reference. Sure. Mr. Man. So you came to investigate this, this stone. Yeah, Naki Hona. There, there was another guy here before, a, a, a real nosy guy. But I was the one, one who found the stone first. In the old days, the natives called it Nakihona. They used it in a, a, a ceremony for, for talking with their dead ancestors. And now those those guys are, are using it too. Call, call it the mother stone. They're just... Uh, uh, up, up ahead in that, that weird building, Op operating some kind of crazy re religious cult. They, they used to c c collect orphans and, 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 and d d did things to them. They collected orphans. Kinda, it gives you the chill, chills, huh? This stone. I would love to find a cursed rock. Why are there two of them? This one has holes in it too. My, well, they're not holes, they're like spirals, I guess. So like, this is the important one? Because, why not this one? I never understood that. There's two giant stones with similar features right across from each other. This one's pretty cool too, isn't it? Bad here. Look, a booby trap. 
kill this dog, and then we'll deal with it. Maybe this Python will protect me. You know, it's like a helmet. Maybe having pie in your hair isn't too bad. Great pie helm. See, now we're thinking. Oh, look, the dog's sitting down. Oh, he's got up. Oh, he always oh, slurping on his teammates. Oh, now he's taking a nap. Sipping. So anyways, booby trap. Where is it? Uh, you cannot get caught in this, unfortunately. I wish you could. As soon as we get close enough. Yeah. I think this invisible wall is always there. It, it, you cannot do anything with this. I don't think you can even lure enemies in here. here to the Silent Smile Support Society. Uh, I think it says Cider House underneath in Comic Sans, but it also says Wish House, an orphan home in the silent, in the, in the what? In the Slut 13? I can't read that. Wish House, that's the orphanage run by the cult, huh? Look at all this text we can't read, but Eileen can if she's possessed, so... Uh... We're not gonna... Maybe we'll be able to read it. I usually don't worry about it. Uh, we can. Henry wants to behave. Look at this door. Locked. This... Wish House. See, it says on there, too. Cider House. Wish House. Silent Smile Support Society. It's supposed to be Silent Hill Miles Port Society, I'm pretty sure. It's not super important, I just wanted to point that out. Or S. But it's Silent Hill, not just Silent Smile. There's a few times in, across the games where they just, like, have Silent Hill in the title of something and they forget to have the hill. Like the caution tape in the mansion with the Silent Hill 3. It's just the Silent Department. It's not the Silent Hill Police Department or anything. It's the Silent Department. It's the Department of Silence. Let's go talk to this weird little kid. 
This game feels like a non sequitur, <laughs> like always. Little boy, what are you doing here? There's Jasper. Hello. Your. Look at his shirt. Finally, the third revelation. Something's gonna happen. That nosy guy that was here, he said it too. Something big is gonna happen. Finally, it's gonna happen. <laughs> He's like, fuck this, I'm out of here. You know what? I don't blame him. Did you see his shirt? Notice how it had the final boss of Silent Hill 1 on it? I think the text underneath says Hauris. H A U R E S. Which I'm sure is a god of something. Greek, maybe? It's also a summon in Golden Sun. Uh, it would be... Hori's. Also known as Flauros. Uh, and some other names. is a strong great duke of hell within Christian demonology. Posed by the Kabbalistic angel Mehiel. They specifically reference the Kabbalah in Silent Hill 3, which is, uh, according to Wikipedia, a, a Jewish mystical text. For those who are into that kind of thing. If you're going to be into... If you're going to commit to the Semitic religion and say there's plenty of cool parts, I guess. Like Hori's. Let me go... Get out of here. There's nothing here we can do. Oh, shit. Ah! Did the kid even say anything? I sorry, I was a little distracted by Jasper's shirt. We ran into a little Walter, but we just don't we don't really do anything with it. I guess he's back over here. It's this locked door. The the d d door won't open. Th that nosy guy gave me something really good. Uh, I, I c could let you have it, but, 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 but not for free. I'm really thirsty. I'm so, so thirsty. I wish I could give him the white wine. Oh, chocolate. Oh, chocolate. No, he's got a hankering. Oh, man, that was awesome. Here, take this. There's something written on it. The, who designed what the the chocolate milk puzzle? This game does get, I think, a lot more obtuse with its puzzles than the earlier games. Like two and three have uh, like riddles that are fucked up, but like the actual like mechanics of this game are kind of rude sometimes. Opposite where the lake and house meet, inside the hand holding onto the ground. Well, wouldn't luck? When you just know it. We're here. I want to go to the place we don't have to go, which is over here. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. It's like, it's, it's different. Like, puzzles, like, the riddles, the riddle puzzles are self-contained, at least. So it's just like... This two thing you have to figure out, whereas this is like there's no clues or anything. I guess it's easy to figure out, but it's still like a weird, a weird thing you have to do. 
I think there are much worse, honestly. <laughs> I'd have to make a list, but like of all the weird little uh, like triggers for events to happen and stuff, especially in the apartment. The game refusing to move forward at all unless you check one specific note that's been slipped under your front door in the apartment without your notice. The text of which doesn't contain anything like, crucial to unlocking anything. It's just text that they make you read and then suddenly a door opens or, like, something like that. A cutscene that wouldn't trigger is suddenly becomes able to be triggered. Well, I think it's a problem because of how open-ended everything is. And that it's like, no matter what you do in this world, no matter what I'm doing right now, I could run into a brick wall at any time, and there's nothing I can do to fix it, or, you know, deal with it, except go back to the apartment and just hope that there's a solution there. It's one of those things where it's like, I get that it's, uh, like... I don't know. It's a new idea. It's pretty forward-thinking, but it's also not necessarily the funnest thing to do. Look at that. Look at those legs. There's some dangly legs up there. I mean, they belong to a guy they're attached to, but whatever. That's not why we're here. We're here to look at Toluca Lake! Look at that. JPEG. I wonder if it's the same panorama as the second game. It looks a little different, but... Uh, the second one doesn't have this whole, like, long wraparound. Final Hill to Luca Lake. Always keep your... Uh, something view... While something walk on the cliff. I don't know. Don't don't fall in. Upper body's missing. He's a goddess or something. What's over here? More text. Can't do shit with that. Can't pick up a free portable medical kit. How's our health? Can't tell what our health is. I mean, you can... This is something that you see... Uh, every every person who speedruns this game turns off uh, hide gauge and hide icon. If you turn those off, then your inventory and health are always on the screen. Pretty healthy. I do like the idea of not having the extra UI elements there. But I wish there was, like, some way to manually bring your health up. Dead. Look at this bacon wrap tree. That's it. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> 
I don't know why it's like that, but it is. A text. Unreadable, probably. Thank God, it's just a tree root. Got the rusted bloody key. The holder of this key will wander for eternity. They give you two clues for this puzzle. If they gotta give you two clues for a puzzle at separate times, maybe the puzzle needs a little work. Uh, so check. We'll go ahead and do uh, the meme thing. I'm coming! It's not gonna work. The curse of the bacon tree cannot be broken. Except by, you know, one, one method. Oh, there's a golf club. Yeah, I think it just gets a little weird when you have to include Oh god, it's inverted again. Oh yeah, I did say I was going to try to fix it. Uh, which I will do after I get to save in a minute here. Um, let's see. I think in a game like this with these like mystical horror elements, it's hard to have like a puzzle solution that sounds natural, like that sounds like it's part of the world it's in. Oh, yeah, I can break it and get in there. It's just something I think about. Help me! Help! Help me, help! Let me out of here! There's something going on in this room. What do you mean? I heard weird noises. Look at that tie. Help! Hey, Richard, can you see anything from your window? No. Everything looks pretty normal to me. The guy who lives here, what's he like anyway? I know his name and face, but that's about it. Well, I'm going to go call the super. Yeah. Good idea. Damn it. They can't hear me. Pranked. Q. 
Yeah, got him. Here, let me... Let me restart one more time, because that fixed it last time. If it inverts again, uh, setting my INI file to read only might help. I've got ideas. More 43. I, I like, I look out the window and it's like, it almost looks like the sun's setting. It's not even 5 o'clock yet. <laughs> yeah, this works again. Okay, cool. Uh,. Hanging out here, aren't I? What's this say? Although the cult itself is gone, I'm sure the spirit is still alive. There's too many strange things happening. I guess seeing two people, or maybe I should just one. The Red Diary. Back to the fucking apartment anyway. <laughs> Listen, the problem with this puzzle is that there's too many loading screens involved. Here is a, the heater that you pull uh, one 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 wine bottle's worth of kerosene from in Silent Hill Three. Yo, what's up? Uh, I wonder what they did here. Look at his swagger. Look at his step. I wonder what they did here. You know what's weird? We never get to go in this door. or And like nothing else happens up here. I don't even think there's pickups. They gave that its own camera angle. This place is kind of kind of a dump. Speaking of getting their own camera angles, it's falling apart. Second sign, God set off the blood of the ten sinners and the white oil. Be then released from the bonds of the flesh and gain off oh, shit. 
I'll, I'll reread that. Hold that thought, Jasper. Would be Holy Scripture. Release from the bonds of the flesh. Uh, for the darkness and void, bring forth gloom. Gird thyself with despair for the giver of wisdom. Third sign, return to the source through sin's temptation. For the watchful eye of the demon, wander alone in the formless chaos. Sounds like Jasper's in trouble. However, I know Jasper is in trouble, but there's a free thing on the door that we can steal. I'm going to do it. We're going to steal this instead. It's the source placard. The source placard. Cool. It's, it shows a baby and says source. Is like sitting up. A special news report. In a forest near Silent Hill, the burned corpse of a 30 year old male was discovered earlier today. The police have ruled it a homicide and are investigating. The numbers 17121 were reportedly carved into the man's body. Due to the marks on the victim, the police are investigating possible links to the Walter Sullivan case 10 years ago. Back in our shitty apartment, we have two plates. We have someone at the door. This is the superintendent. Are you in there, Henry? Super Nintendo. Help me! There's something wrong with this room! Help! Let me out of here! Is anybody home? What's going on here? Key. Uh, um, I'm sure I heard something in there. Yeah. That sound. It's the same one as back then. Not helpful. I'm 
my spooky ceiling fan. It's, that's what he heard, like, long ago. And now the news. In Washington, a gathering of 200,000 people appealing for stricter gun control laws in the wake of a spate of violent shootings throughout the country turned tragic when shots were fired into the crowd. Two people were killed and several wounded, including a three-year-old child. At this moment, no suspects have been found. Police are investigating the source of the shots. Some shit never changes. The whole change, you can hear children's voices. We're going in. Boy, howdy, do we have some shit to check in here. Look at Paramecium. Sloppily written note. Oh, shit. Floor basement. Scariest. Kitchen in the northeast next door is death chamber. We're punching the right numbers. Lucky I finally escaped from the cell. Take a look around the building. Favorite of this game's levels. Uh... Walter's gonna kill me! Walter. He, he's gonna kill me! You wanna caress my face? Get me out! Get me the hell out of here! I can't, it's locked. He's... He's gonna kill me! Walter's gonna kill me! He, he's gonna kill me! Rub it all in my hair. Well, there's paramecium's. You don't have to worry about them. Man, I don't know. I have a least favorite. It's fucking building world. That place sucks. That place is okay. Sick of being watched. I think that's it. Oh, I missed two. Oh, I think I just think it's awful because of how uh, long and drawn out it is. And we're gonna we're gonna cross that bridge when we get there. Well, it's next, isn't it? Kill me. Walter's gonna kill me! Blockly written note. To get to the surveillance rooms in the middle of this complex, you have to use the corpse disposal chutes. 
First and second floors, the cells are locked. That's so the kids wouldn't discover them. You have to get to the third floor from one of the cells on the third. Go ahead, do it, but it's really a pain. The lights only work on the third floor. It is kind of an inefficient system. <laughs> Wasn't sure. When they poke their heads out like that. Oh, Saint Saint George, Saint Medallion. Equipped along with a weapon. Anti spirit effects, it will eventually break. I said Saint George. He's a fierce saint, right? He's the guy from the dragon. Whatever, mischief managed. Let's go grab this key. It looks like a door, but it's not. Ooh, water wheel. It's a key. Water prison exit key. Turn on the lights in the third floor cells. Turn this water wheel. Remember that the water must flow in the direction of the water wheel. It's left on the sluice gate on the roof. I don't think the direction of the water matters. I don't think it's even a puzzle, is it? These fucking guys. Get it. Come on, show yourselves. Stuck somewhere. Look, it's tiny, huge world. I can't open it very wide. Little baby man. I wish I could, like, slather myself in honey so that the bugs would just, like, chase me down. If only I had Silent Hill 3 perfume.
I'm gonna assume that's good. I think we're okay now. There's gonna be so many sections, like this whole set of hallways that are just dead silent. And I haven't heard, like, silence in, in forever. That's great. The exit. Uh, this is where what's his face is. We'll deal with the outer building bugs after. Exit 5. This isn't bad. I thought I was, I was gonna take some time with it. Hang out for a little bit. This is a pretty good pace. See, it almost feels like this was all supposed to be like a puzzle. They just said fuck it. It does look cool. Look, we've opened the sluice gates. Now there's water. No need to worry about it going the wrong direction if you just open all of them. It was Skull Island. It's so funny that you're like so on that game right now. I think it's great. Hope it's been good. Yeah, Monkey Game funny. <laughs> For sure. It looks like there's fun physics gimmicks for the speedrun, so at least there's that, right? They had a little more downtime. This challenge looks toxic. It's gonna be a little miserable. I'm not like when I do things like this, I don't like really hold it to like a serious uh like rigor, you know what I mean? Like if I if I run across enemies, I'll kill them. I'm not like keeping track or anything. This is like me routing. But it is it's just my my excuse to casually play through this again. Oh my god, it's 11 minutes now. Holy shit. I think I remember being like 15. That's good to s But that's good. My shoes. When and where did I buy these shoes? At least that game can live on as a as an epic speed game. I mean, my life is in serious danger. I've through a lot, but never felt this kind of pure animal fear. In case something happens, I've decided to write down what I've learned for whoever you are that's living in the apartment. I've been investigating the mass murder that took place seven years ago. Ten people were killed in ten days. Filled in a variety of ways, but the one thing they had in common, uh, they had numbers carved into them. 01121, 02121, 03121, and so on. Any other killer, it was carved in as well. If you're just reading these, and like, like, I don't, like, 
Isn't it kind of obvious that the middle one is not a number, but just a slash? Like, whatever. His name is Walter Sullivan. April 4. Walter Sullivalter. Our TV's on. I don't remember turning this on. I don't think I had anything to do. Yeah, like, I think there might even be a throwaway line where they don't think it's a slash, because then it would be, like, if it did 8, 9, 10, but then someone mentions, like, oh, well, why didn't you finish? It's like, I don't know, but that doesn't, I don't think that discredits the theory, though. Walter's just playing blackjack. I've not checked any of these rooms, so I'm gonna hop in. Watching the surveillance room people, and sometimes he's there. I can tell because I see a shadow move or hears footsteps. The structure, I believe, is called a panopticon. The idea is that someone in a central room can see into all of the prison cells at once. But the people in the prison cells can't see into the central room. So they know that they're always being watched, and in an ideal scenario, eventually you wouldn't even need a guard there. Yeah. I think there's a real one in Cuba that they list as an example. It might have been Cuba. I think it was another... It, it could have been, like, a different uh, Caribbean country. I peed in my pants. I gotta watch them so nobody finds out. Oh, I saw a shadow. Someone saw me. Uh. Yeah, I don't think I can kill all these guys, <laughs> even if I try. Oh. I can get close. I'll do my best. count as individual kills. Is there a guy here? Yeah, get out of here. I forgot fucking worm things can grow out of bodies. Maybe they'll be grown out of the slugs. Oh, hello. My first twin victim.
You just step into the room and he's just there pointing at you. See, there's a slug up there. What am I supposed to do about him? I tried to do like a true pacifist run of this game. It's the opposite of this. No killing anything except, I guess, the one truth and Walter. See, what do I do about this guy? Get over here. Don't turn up. God damn it. <laughs> that might be it, so I'm just gonna start checking doors. Clothes lying here. Nothing to do there. Nice hole. Yeah, like, the levels don't have bosses. There's just one random, like, Mini boss, I guess. I guess it's a boss. I don't know. Okay, I don't think these slugs need to count towards my counter because they're just fucking showing back up. Clothes laid out in the shape of a person. That will look like I'm sleeping. Oh, were those footsteps? I wonder if they saw me. See? It being a, a central location, it's like... There can always... They can always be watched at any time. And they will never be sure if they're being watched. That is... Hold on, I want to find the exact quote, because I remember it was very nicely written. Uh, Panopticon. The 
concept is to allow all prisoners of an institution to be observed by a single security guard without the inmates knowing whether or not they're being watched. Although it's physically impossible for the single guard to observe all the inmates' cells at once, the fact that the inmates cannot know when they're being watched motivates them to act as though they're being watched at all times. They are effectively compelled to self-regulation. Uh, the architecture consists of a rotunda with an inspection house at its center. From the center, the manager or staff are able to watch the inmates. Uh, da -da -da, da -da -da. It was a theoretical thing for a long time. Presidio Modelo. Okay, this is... Hold on, I'll show you what I'm looking at. Because uh, it's actually... Architecturally, really, the one that they use as an example is very pretty. My... Reading it about the Panopticon. Put it over here. See, these are all lots of uh, designs. Not many were built, but uh, this this is an example. Presidio Modelo. Administration building serves as a school and research center. Yeah, every everything sucked there and it was terrible, but they did build one. Criticism and use as a metaphor. That's the thing, I remember like looking uh looking for examples and it's really like just this one and it's much more of like a people treat it more as like a metaphor it's kind of like the idea of like an oubliette if anyone's familiar where it's one of those things where like it's this creepy weird thing that someone designed but it's not i don't think it exists in real life very often. Maybe it's like the Iron Maiden. It might be similar. Someone came up with a creepy idea and was like, wouldn't this be fucked up? <laughs> diaries this game has so much fucking literature we had beef stew yesterday in the cafeteria i heard there's a death chamber behind the kitchen you take meat straight from the dead people and cook it that scared me i'm in trouble i stood in front of the surveillance room and yelled as loud as i could but nobody came out and that is it for here the, it's in, isn't it interesting that they have the water lines delineated for some reason? I don't know why, it, like, it might have mattered at some point. Got one more. Technically, two more floors to go. Oops. And up here. I miss. Mr. Henry's character that he cares about what that wait that he cares about like reading all this shit. The water lines. It has nothing to do with solving the puzzle, Henry just thinks it's fascinating.
Are these all locked? Are these all ones I checked. Oh yeah, they are. Well, fuck it. 1F. Yeah, I checked all those. I'm fucking leaving. Let's see the puzzle. Oh, this one would have been due to the left of the door, I think. Yeah. Yee. More paramecium's, no problem. All these doors with the holes are locked on every floor except the third floor. Got that reach. How is this guy still standing? trying to get behind. So in order to get B1, so we need basically the the lower the lower right side of the circle we need access to. I'm going to forget the solution. A memo. The secret number for getting through the door in the back of the kitchen is 0302. Thanks. That's my apartment number, by the way. You can see into all these rooms. Also rotate them. This whole concept is kind of ridiculous. God, the guy's outfit is gross. <laughs> I think that's it, because we're going to use the lower the one, like, directly behind me. So here... Is it right two times? Or is it left four times? Or is it right four times? I guess we'll find out. The little sign the kids is important to keep the cells well lit. Lights on the third floor originally bought searchlights. It's a precaution against blackout. They run a private generator. In the basement, to light up this first and second floors, use the corpse disposal chutes. Each floor of this building can be rotated. You can light up any of the cells by matching up the holes. 
repeating this periodically. It's an effective way to keep the kids fearful and well-behaved. Yes, Chief, if you turn the handle in the middle of this room, you can easily rotate the cells. You can't rotate the first floor, so align the second and third floors. But the first floor cell that has the blood-stained bed. By the way, if you use the peephole, it's easy to make sure you're doing it right. Give it a try. Please don't forget to open the sluice gate on the roof. You know what I mean? Like, they do- they have to explain the shit out of some of these puzzles. Maybe a little excessively. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe the blood-stained bed is the upper... That would be upper right. We can test my theory out. That'd be this one. Uh, there's a blood-stained bed and there's a hole. They even tell you you gotta line up this. See, there's a hole there. Oh, there's not a hole. Whoops. There's a hole there. Did I go once too much or something? <coughs> oh, sorry. Forget it. Three, two, one. It would be a miserable puzzle if first floor was turnable. When they stay in there, I can't make this not me inside. Don't make me stay in there. God, please. Come on, get let me out of here. So I didn't try to die in here. Don't make me stay in there, Walt. Walt, I'm telling you, stay down. Bro, why is your outfit so gross? And who are you? His name's Walter. Walter Sullivan. I used to work at the orphanage watching the kids. I'm Andrew DeSalvo. They tried to make it seem like an orphanage, but according to that town's holy scriptures, it was actually the center of their religion. And that kid, Walter, he was really into that mumbo jumbo. Especially that descent of the Holy Mother business. Oh, it's scary. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> So excited to get rid of this damn pike. These guys grow. They didn't grow any to toadstools. Locked. These guys are gonna keep spawning from holding up. the water.
Boom. We are now in the kitchen. I don't know if this door is even locked. Oh, this is gonna keep respawning. I'm out of here. All these little bastards, too. Watchfulness placard. There's an I and it says watchfulness. Sure. They just. Oh, it's dark. Fuck. Didn't I do the light thing? Am I going crazy? I thought I just needed this loose gate. Gates open. Check out the water wheel. Check one thing. Mm, do, do, do. This. Oh, it's not spinning. Oh, because the water level, yeah, the water lines aren't, okay, okay, fine. I wonder which one I screwed up then. Wait, did I? Oh, I did this in the wrong order. Whoops. I know what I'm looking for. Stupid. This one? Damn it, I wish I could look at those pipes. 
I'll, I'll swords to stop all ghosts. Yeah, I'm not doing ghosts or the little uh, the bug things. There's a lot of respawning stuff in here. I think that one's fine. I think second floor is where I started screwing around. Is there really only one in here? Oh, that has a hole. Hey. That also has a hole. Did I, like, go the wrong way or something? <laughs> this place is awful. Don't worry, we're making it. Wait, how would that be possible? I mean, I know it's possible because they do a... Oh, it's the... Oh! I had this backwards. I thought the... Oh, I'm dumb. Okay, so fucking... So it ha... Wait, no, it has to line up with that one. Is that possible to do here? I'm trying to imagine how that would work when it's like complete, you know what I mean? Is there? Is there? Guess that would make sense, but there's no pipe there. Do you carry crayons of assorted colors so you can make maps? No, probably not. I would simply memorize the entire thing. Thanks, board. I'm trying to do the, the water puzzle like a normal person, and I fucked it all up. Actually, I just... dark in here. That cannot turn. This can. So, like, there's a... I 
thought this would need to be filled, right? If that's the case, how is that possible, this layout? Oh, this doesn't have a hole. I've been in there. Oh yeah, all these rooms were unlocked. This wouldn't work. This wouldn't work. I don't think. Yeah, that wouldn't work. This can go... Yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm having a fucking... I'm taking crazy pills here. mind admitting that I've just completely forgotten how to fit, how to solve this. I shouldn't do that during a cutscene. Uh, so let me see here. I just want to see what the map looks like when it's complete. Yeah, I did that twice. I don't want the stun gun. There is a stun gun in here somewhere. See, so yeah, I hate when walkthroughs tell you just like do this X number of times and do this X number of times to solve it, but they don't like they don't they should show you like, you know, here's what the map will look like when it's complete or something, you know what I mean? Probably save anyways, it's been a while. Let me get some health back. Got the front door. Watch Eileen run from bees. Yeah, about here. See if I knew the position of these when they started. I think it's gonna drive me nuts. Let me get back to the third floor. I think that's where the problem is.
Oh, he does mark stuff on the map if you look in there. Okay. Uh, doesn't matter too much. That's fine. Oh, I wonder if the water wheel is aligned a different way than I thought it was. Hard to put that there. Two, three. I'm going to try something. I think that's left. That probably needs to be changed. Oh, I'm on second floor. That's okay. I thought it was on third. Did I just rotate a bunch of times for the wrong floor? Oh, oh, that's why that doesn't work. So do all of the water things have to line up, or just one? I think that's what's bugging me. It is all of them. We can line them up. I think. Or to the side. Right once on the third floor. Hold on. Is he rotating at one or two? Oh, it's one. Why does three have empty circles on it? I wish I could just go out there and look, but I can't. There's one single door that led from the inside of this out into the prison. So you didn't have all the backtracking. OK. 
Okay, I'll work my way up. I'm gonna operate under the assumption that all of the water things need to line up, even if that's not true. Just it's driving me insane thinking about it. Right, two more times. Which way was it? Left once. See, they're all lined up. There's no hole that goes to the bottom, but I don't think it matters anymore. Aha, there's too much water. We only care about what upper left. narrow it down. Start with the third floor. We gotta go right once. Only once. That can't be true. This is way too complicated. God, this puzzle. This is like the Silent Hill 3, like, Shakespeare puzzle of this game. Probably way overblowing it, but I hate this one. I think it's, like, problem solving involves running around so much, it's just kind of annoying. Two more, or is it four more? 
gonna try four. You think this is bad? Wait till I get to Building World Part 2. I'm gonna fucking... First the Blood Vessel. Yeah, that looks better. Part 2. Yeah, so I think those two being on the other side, or opposite sides, is a problem. What if after all of this shit, I'm just rotating the water wheel the wrong way? Would have to be... Okay, so it has to be the hair. Two more. That seems like its own problem. I wanna go see what the water wheel's doing. Go up to go down. Is it stalled? It is stalled. Say anything about water wheel. The water must flow in the direction of the water wheel. Also, have to open the sluice gate. Is this like a? There's no like directionality to this, is there? So, like, what happens if you do it backwards? Does it fucking explode? Does it suck the power out of the lights? Just that. We need a two cell gap between this and between the room that I that's supposed to be dropped down through. I think I'm focusing too much on getting the solution. That the speedrun uses. Are they all open on three? Mm -hmm. 
Be like, I don't really understand what the map icons mean. That's what's confusing the hell out of me. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna try this solution. Whoops. Always forget, they give you access to floor one, but you can't turn it. Uh, this one's correct. It's saying second floor should be... Oh, there's a there's a hole that I missed on the second floor. I don't think it's the one I need to use, but that's it. Yeah. What's it? Th so it'd be this one. Ooh, there's a hole. Damn it! I didn't have that marked. Fucking sloppy. Uh. Yeah, no, that's a move. Why is... Why do I have a different map than this walkthrough? <laughs> uh, next one, this one? Damn it. Two over. Press the radiator. Hole? Yeah. Oh, there's three holes. Rotate right once, I think. That uh, can't be it. I think with this set of triplets. Put that. I feel like I'm going crazy. Two should be two, three. Left three times. That breaks the water connection down there. Only one side, that might be it. Probably puts the holes where they need to be too. Final map positions. Fucking A. Oh, I'm so dumb.
At least they threw him in the water to fucking wash his gross ass outfit off. This is fucking Silent Hill 3 music, I think. Maybe it's not directly reused, but it's fucking similar. I'm thinking of the song uh, when you enter Building World, I think. Kick around a little bit more. Probably not finishing building world tonight. <laughs> that, that's that shit's gonna take forever. Something extremely effective against the ghosts. Stuck into the huge rock in the woods near the orphanage. It's a sword blade with a handmade triangle shaped wooden handle with a spell on it. It's heavy and hard to carry as a weapon, but it seems to change in response to the ghost victim's power. Strike when the sword is energized. If you don't reduce their power, your attacks will be repelled. There's only five swords in existence with that kind of power. These guys just slip in the tutorial. Stained with blood and it smells gross. Ew. Pulls even bigger and there's more noise. And we are extremely going in. Here, I'm gonna go back and save. Well, first let's look at some monkeys. Hopping around up there. keeps turning itself on. Oh, my radio. Did not turn itself on, that was me. Went out here. Something's uh, blocking it from the inside. Oh. Anyway, it's not the first time. You mean the guy who lived here before? And it wasn't just him either. There's uh, something wrong with his whole apartment. 
It's his apartment. Why would he admit that? Well, maybe it's not his, but he's he's in charge here. Well, anyway, I just slipped a note under his door. Uh, don't worry about it too much. There are a lot of oh god, this line. Things in this world. The umbilical cord I keep in a box in my room. Lately, it started to. Huh? Umbilical cord? Oh. Well, I forget I said anything. But still. <laughs> what the fuck? There's noises. He slid a note under. It's stained with blood. I can't read it. Yeah, his note's not very helpful. Um, let me run around building world just a little bit. I'm going to do one more cutscene that I'm going to show off later anyways. We'll wind this down. I'm starting to get hungry too, fuck. Bloodborne stole umbilical cords from this game. I didn't know that. I don't know too much about Bloodborne. What's a car doing here? It's the same car. It's the James Sunderland car, I think. No, actually, this might be a different one. The other one has a little logo right in the center of the grill. Friggin' zoo in here. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I wouldn't want to hang out here for long. Check out this cutscene, though. This part's great. Ouch! Damn it! <laughs> Ouch! Damn Where it! Where the hell am I? <sighs> I love this guy. He's intense. Hey, you're the guy that lives across from me. Yeah. He's like the Kaufman of this Harry. game. He's like the I'm one. Andrew Braintree from 207. Very capable person who gets his shit wrecked, anyways. What the hell's happened to us? Look at that cool tie. In this I'm obsessed with that world. tie, you guys. But if you're here too, then there must be something wrong with the whole. Apartment building. That must explain what happened to that other guy, too. What other guy? The guy who lived in 302 before you. A journalist. He disappeared one day. He got pretty crazy towards the end. <sighs> Shut himself up in his room and wouldn't come out. Anyway, I'm getting the hell out of here. You should too, if you know what's good for you. Wait. Watch out for that kid. Huh. Yeah, whatever. And then monkeys drop right where he fell, he went through the door. Hotel South Ashfield. We're behind the hotel sign, isn't that cool? It's a great audio thing to hear as soon as you enter a new place.
Weird sword stuck in his stomach. He's holding something on his hand. Oh my god, there's pie on my head. I'll take the hand item. He the ghost is going. I don't think I'm going to take the sword, though. Helmet. Oh yeah, I'm not counting these guys as enemies because they respawn. And they can also move into places where you can't kill them. Like, you know, what the fuck am I going to do about this? Well, oh, that worked! Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes they're just 20 feet in the air and you can't kill them. I said I was winding down and I do mean it, though. There's the cool... I like this wall. It reminds me of, a, like, a Y2K aesthetic kind of... Like, you'd see this in a club or something. I'm starting to really get into it, so we'll stop at this big floppy foreskin. Yeah, sorry it took so friggin' long for the water puzzle. I I wish I need to like I don't know really internalize that in my head because that's it's friggin' confusing as hell. But I'm gonna split. I'm gonna send the raid to someone. I'm gonna do some chores and wind down for and get ready for work tomorrow and all that kind of stuff. Fable. Path of Exile. Spyro the Dragon. Games and Demos. Lethal Company. Um. I'll throw it at Character Zero, who's playing Barrow Trauma. I'll check it out for a little bit. Yeah, it was good. I'm going to continue this as soon as I can uh, over the span of the week, next weekend, whenever. As much as I can, we're going to do it. For now, let's go still here. Oh, I'm excited to eat something. It's going to be awesome. Oh, man, that was awesome. Good night.